For the first time, we are learning just how tight security will be at the upcoming Republican National Convention. The U.S. Secret Service announced its security parameters and perimeters. Road closures, also protest locations at CBS 2 Sabrina Franza. Live for us in Milwaukee with what we can expect in just a few weeks. We're walking along the hard security perimeter just a few yards away from the Pfizer Forum. No one can enter the other side of this fence unless they have a credential. That means no pedestrians, no ride share, no food delivery and no protesters. Protesters, though, they can get pretty close on this side pretty much up until where I'm standing right now. There is still no higher priority than public safety, which is clearly a theme from today. The security perimeter for the Republican National Convention will be tight and restrictive. Delegates, speakers, volunteers, anyone with a credential and a ticket will make their way to the Pfizer Forum and surrounding buildings for the main events. Everyone else, access denied. We will not tolerate any acts of violence, any destruction of property in our city. The United States Secret Service released these maps, the hard perimeter in red, outer perimeter in yellow, security checkpoints, these dots in black. Anyone trying to get into either zone will need to go through one of those. Weapons are forbidden in the red perimeter, legal weapons permissible outside. We went up to the line uh, through whatever we can do within the state statute. Some businesses in the red zone have been entirely rented out by media. They're not open to the public. This corner in Milwaukee is real close to the center of the universe for, for two or three days this July. It's going to be very exciting. Brent Brazier owns Doc's Commerce Smokehouse. His restaurant sits right on the border of the red zone. He's ready for business. After all that we've been through in the restaurant business in the past few years, we're just going to you know, keep smiling and have a good time and make it work, right? I mean, I, I think that Hey, even, even protesters want a beer and some barbecue sometimes. Two approved protest zones border the spaces in red. We're told a group from the Chicago Police Department is coming to help enforce. We believe we've provided premier access on both the south and on the north side. The city of Milwaukee tells us that they've approved about 103 groups to exercise their First Amendment rights at the convention. They say they haven't denied anyone the opposite of Chicago, where we're told they haven't approved anyone. We're in Milwaukee. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.